I'm gonna reach under and adjust into your mid back like we did last time. Turn your face to this side, all the way to that side. Oh my God. How are those? That was so good. So Jeanette's here for her second pregnancy adjusting. Uh, we did one last week, so mm -hmm. it's been six or seven days, right? Yeah, so I was 35 weeks last week and now I'm 36 weeks. <laughs> right, and you can see um, yeah. where the belly is today. She's getting How big. much did the first treatment help? Like a good 60, 70%. Like the relief in my mid back and my neck made all the difference. Awesome. And how about, you said you also have some left ankle stuff. Yeah, I've had like an issue like in, I don't know what part of the body that is, but it's like inside of <laughs> here. Okay. So when I walk for more than like 30 minutes, it just hurts so bad. No, is that like from pops. pregnancy or is that you always had that before? Too? I think it started as a workout injury before my pregnancy and then mm. it's gotten worse with the pregnancy. Okay, how's your neck and shoulders today? Neck is still really, really great. Shoulders feel great. I think yeah. it's just um, my left hip still. That's just been yeah. like a recurring thing. And then the left hip is a lot on the left side. Okay, cool. So let's um, get you on the table. Come around this way. Crawl I on. My favorites. Yeah. It's kind of fun to lay <laughs> face down again though, right? Yeah, I was just saying, I was like, I just, I don't even feel pregnant when I'm lying down on this thing. That's so good. So I'm going to pull this down just a little bit so your ankles hang off. Okay. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put these alignment shoes on. I just want to see what your leg length looks like. Because especially if we're looking at the hip, I want to see if the hips are balanced. And so these go on to the feet. And Michael, you can move close to see the alignment. We try to shoot it straight down like we do still shots. And, um, and the first thing I notice is the right leg is drawing short. So as I bring it up to position two, we balance. So I do want to check the knees real quick. And the knees are not responding as a cause of the imbalance. It's going to definitely be a, what we call a PI ilium. In a PI ilium, the ilium goes uh, posterior inferior. So it's a double kind of misalignment. Um, to correct it, we come under the sits bone. And it looks like my thumb is at the base of her buttocks, which it is, but under there is that ischial tuberosity. And then I come and find the sacred tuberous ligament and I adjust that um, really as much as anterior to posterior as I can, which is why I change the angle and I come into the fossa of the ilium. Uh, so it's a three point move or three landing contact points. And but look at this already before I even take out the, the inversion, eversion. And I got it already. So let's bring it up to position two. That's even that way. Let's go past 90 degrees and see if we're getting any more pull. I mean, that's so nice. It's really balanced. Now let's rotate that right hip because she says she does get hip pain. And that shows a little bit of a misalignment. So the next thing I'm going to adjust is uh, an anterior internally rotated right pelvis. So I'm going to have her roll this hip up just a little bit and I'm going to go under and adjust into from A to P um, and try to take out some of that internal rotation at the same time. Her hips aren't landing centered. So lift up and drop again. There you go. And now let's rotate, internally rotate the hip socket. And now look again, they're balanced. Good. So put the right wrist on the lower back, which is an isolation test for L5. Switch arms, which is L4. Both arms on the lower back, which is for L2. Everything looks good there. Um, bring the arms back down to neutral. Now I'm going to just dig in with my hand and look for that trigger point. Do you feel that trigger point right there? What does that feel like? It hurts a little. It hurts a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to dig my elbow in next. And... Um, It's interesting, I've been working with pregnant women now for 20 years and got certified in pregnancy adjusting at my chiropractic college before I graduated. And one of the things you learn about is not to be scared to work with pregnant women. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's so scared to even dig in and work deep into some of the muscles. Yeah. But the truth is, unless someone's having a fragile pregnancy and their medical doctor says that they really need to stay bedridden, 
Um, there's no reason not to get accurately on some of these spots and work on them and rub them out. Uh, they're not fragile. And, you know, if you're well-trained in the anatomy and the physiology, I'm, I'm not gonna hurt her. <laughs> and I'm not, I've done so many, so many cases over the last 20 years, I know how much pressure I can apply. And this is nice and balanced. So the next thing I'm gonna do is pull these pillows away. I'm gonna have you lie on your back. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a manipulation type of adjustment. So you're gonna have you come stand up. And then stand on the floor. How's that feel now? Good. Bend down a little bit, see how that feels. Yeah, that feels good. It's already feeling good, right? There's a little more to do, so we're gonna do that next. So now I'm gonna have you uh, lie on your side facing me this way, please. Both legs really straight. Pull up the top knee. Scoot your hips closer this way. Hold my hand. And we're gonna adjust the lower back, Michael. Good. How did that feel? So good. Good, come to the other so side. Release. Scoot your hips closer to me and bring this top knee up. Good, line your back now. Scoot over towards the edge this way. I'm gonna reach under and adjust into your mid back like we did last time. Turn your face to this side, all the way to that side. Oh my God. How are those? That was so good. Good, now move to the center of the table. Good, put your legs out straight. I'm gonna do a little pull on this leg, okay? Oh, wow. So good. Oh, that was so good on that left yeah. ankle. That was the bad ankle, right? Yeah. I just popped it back in. Let's get nice and close. Oof. How'd that feel? So good. Good. Let's do a little more with this ankle. Come down this way. There it goes. So we have to chip away at that. So each week we're going to work on that left ankle. All right, come sit up and then stand up. Turn to your side and then stand here and face Michael. How do you feel right now? Oh my God, my neck feels so good every time you do that. Good. It's such a relief. How's your ankle feel? Move the ankle around a little bit. Actually, it feels really much better. Okay, good. Because it usually pops when I do this. We'll have to work at that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks.